Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be speaking about the sword of the Spirit uh, in relation to Ephesians uh, chapter 6 and uh, verse uh, 17. Now the sword of the Spirit, it reads here, verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Yesterday I spoke about the helmet of salvation and today uh, we're speaking about the sword of the Spirit and it makes it very clear what the sword of the Spirit is which is the Word of God. The Word of God is so amazing. Uh, at the beginning of creation there was the Word of God spoken and we see that great power uh, came forth from God's spoken Word and today uh, things that we see in existence God spoke into being and so the Word of God uh, we see here today it says about being a sword of the Spirit so just a, an example of the great power that uh, is available in using the Word of God and you and I as children of the Living God when we speak God's Word when we read His Word it's life-changing it's transforming and uh, I just want to read another scripture here that it's in Hebrews uh, chapter 4 and verse 12 and it reads for the Word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You know, the, the Word of God, again, extremely powerful. And you see, the devil knows that uh, he doesn't stand much of a chance when uh, a child of the living God is, is armed up with the armor that we've been through in the past few days and also uh, takes up the sword of the Spirit and starts using it. And so when we use the sword of the Spirit, that means that uh, we find scriptures that relate to any given situation and we begin to speak and pray the Word of God over that situation. And we see that it is a very powerful principle that um, yields such great results uh, and glory to God as well. But there's something that I just want to bring out here this morning is this, is that the sword of the Spirit is, is, has never been intended for people to use against each other. And I'm sure you've seen it as much as I have, that people have had a disagreement with someone or a marriage that doesn't seem to be working out, uh, any kind of relationship or friendship, and begin to use the Word of God against the other person in any given situation. Can I be honest? If you're doing that, that is not right. The Word of God, the sword of the Spirit, was never created to be used to, to slice to pieces people who have been made in the image and likeness of God. It's never ever been designed that way. The sword of the Spirit has been designed in such a way that it's used against principalities and powers and rulers of wick, rulers and wicked spirits and in high places and it goes on that uh, you and I have been armed up to stand against the wiles of the devil that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood and so this sword of the spirit we need to be very careful how we use it and more so who we use it on and so I want to encourage you today to take up the sword of the Spirit, to take it out of its sheath. In other words, take your Bible out of, if it is, in a dusty old cupboard somewhere and blow the dust off it and start reading your, the Bible again and start to really um, dig deep into the Word of God and you'll find that it's filled with life. It's so many answers uh, in the pages, uh, cover to cover, that will help you in everyday life. And uh, if you're going through a particular situation, whatever it may be, just think of it right now. What is it that you are going through today? What are the challenges that you are faced with today? Well, write them down. And then when you've written that down, go through the Bible and find what the Word of God says, what the sword of the Spirit uh, has to offer to uh, remedy the problem. Begin to speak God's amazing Word over your situation. And you will see that uh, great results will follow. And remember, uh, if it's relating to a person, remember, don't use the sword of the Spirit against them. Uh, that, that is not the way to go. 
Uh, we've been called to love people, forgive people, but as we wrestle not against flesh and blood, remember the battle is not there with people. It's there with the spiritual forces that are driving them. And take the sword of the Spirit and begin to fight in that arena there. Amen. So have a great day and uh, be blessed and uh, just get out that sword of the Spirit and begin to uh, win battles in Jesus' name.